A lot of you have been asking me, and I mean a lot of you, if the exploits that I've featured on my channel still work in the newest patch of Europa Universalis 4. And even though I try to mention it as often as possible, some of the exploits tend to crash the game and therefore don't work for a lot of people. Today I'm going to be quickly and concisely covering most of the basic E4 exploits that have to do with custom nations or changing the start date, or a few simple things that you can do before you load into the game. You're watching another Ice Pirate EU4 video guide, and let's get to it. So the first exploit is a very basic one, it's simple and doesn't crash the game, and can be done prior to any of the other exploits in this guide to stack them on top of one another. If you follow this channel or have played EU4 for a while, you've seen this one before. First things first, make sure you have the Eldorado DLC. Most of these exploits require that DLC to function because they enable the custom nation mechanic. Second things second, go to your settings and make sure custom nation settings are turned to easy and add custom nations to save games is turned on. I cannot stress this enough, if you do not have this setting enabled, you will be very frustrated and the exploits will not work. Now create a normal game as your chosen country, ideally one with existing cores. Hit the tilde key and type in debug underscore mode. Now annex all of your cores or any land that would complete missions or help you strategically by owning it by using the integrate nation ID command, the annex nation ID command, the own province ID command, or own core province ID command own core having an underscore between the words. You can check the IDs by hovering over anything after you've used the debug underscore mode command. Now save and we're back to the menu. Click on your save file and create a custom nation. Give yourself only land that was added by you in your normal game save. Additionally, if you select land that you didn't give yourself or your intended country already owned, these provinces will lose their cores, which is annoying for you unless you use it on your neighboring countries to make them implode. Or if you are playing as Austria and remove HR recourse and demand unlawful territory, you can get 20 or so free provinces in 1444. Now click done, click any Iron Man save file on the left menu, click cancel, create a new custom nation, delete it, and now your country has reappeared on the map with all of its new land. Click on it and play as Iron Man. You'll see that it has regained its cores, but any land without existing cores that you've given yourself, you'll have to core up yourself the old fashioned way. All right, next exploit. Okay, this one is the same as the first one, but has a little bit of a different outcome. When in your normal game save, tag into the observer and annex every province. This will remove every province that you annex. Now perform the exploit that was previous to this one and all of the land that you add to your custom nation will become empty as well. This will allow you to colonize it with Siberian frontiers or just in general. And if you select everything except for Ryuku, you can get the three mountains, one faith and world conqueror achievement, plus a few others instantly. Just be careful because if you close the game when provinces that should be filled in are empty, the game will crash and your save file will be ruined. Check out this guide here, linked in the description below as well, for a more detailed explanation. Alright, next exploit. So this one is what you guys have been having trouble with and it crashes a lot, so pay attention or experiment on your own. Every machine is different, so who knows what's going to be working best for you. First step is to create a custom nation with whatever ideas, religion, or ruler you would like. Note that only a few nations, I think one in Africa and one in South America, can get immortal rulers from this, but age of ruler and ruler pips transfer over. So make your rulers all 666, and if you give your custom nation a different religion than the country you intend to play as, usually has, you'll have issues with rebels unless you take this idea in your traditions. Okay, we have our save file, now restart the game. If you don't, you'll almost be guaranteed to crash. Now we go into the single player menu, shift and right click on any button, this button will appear, now here's what will determine if you crash or not. This part is weird and you'll have to play around with it. But from my experience, this is what works for me. Click on the front end GUI button and shift right click and hit it a second time as fast as possible. If you have issues and crash, do it three times in a row on the second try. If that doesn't work, uh, I don't know, too bad I guess, but try your own thing, try it faster, try it slower, try it 500 times, see what works, it's very futzy. Now cancel out of the first two windows, this brings up the custom nation button in the bottom right. Click it, cancel out of two more windows, and if you don't crash at this point, you're probably in the clear. The badges down below will reappear. Great, click on whatever country you want from the shortlist. If you want to play as a country in a different region, then all you have to do is after you've done all of your front end GUI nonsense, just select a different starting date from the left menu. Now hit load, close out of two more windows or however many you have left, and keep your fingers crossed. If you make it to this screen, you are in the clear. 
make sure your intended nation is selected on the right and load your ideas onto it. Now delete your custom nations and play as your OP nation with busted ideas as an Iron Man. Next exploit! This one is basically the same as the last one, except you only use it to play as a custom nation. You can get all of the custom nation achievements easily with this, just go back and follow this guide, also linked down below, so let's get into it. First, do the shift right click trick. Close out of two windows and create a custom nation or load one you've prepared. Give yourself whatever you'd like, go above the 800 point limit, or if you've selected 50 point limit in the options, you'll be enabling all of the point specific achievements. Now because the game won't let you hit done, just type in a name in the middle menu and select start Iron Man. Some people will crash here, but if you load into the game because you have chosen Iron Man, you'll be able to play as normal. Next exploit! Time for some start date exploits. First, just adjust the date on the left side here to 1820, then adjust it back to 1444. This messes with the government types for some nations and has some unintended bugs that can be a pain later in the game. So be careful and don't be disappointed if your campaign gets totally ruined. With that disclaimer out of the way, if you now select to play Ashikaga Japan, you can choose your government type at the start of the game, which means you can disallow wars between your daimyo vassals and force vassalize every nation possible to basically be a fully revoked Holy Roman Empire from day one with no Diplo slot penalty. Also, if you do the first bit, going to 1820 and back, if you play as the Ottomans, you gain cores on the Holy Lands. So if you combine this with the first exploit of this guide, you can get them on day one for free, which will give you an extra missionary or two. Additionally, there's a little trick that if you play as Austria, you can take a free province in northern Germany because for some reason, the country who owns it loses a core. So just use the demand unlawful territory and you'll get a free province. All right, moving on. This one's pretty broken and can basically give you a world conquest pretty much immediately. Head over to 1820 or some date in the future, Create a custom nation over a bunch of land, preferably in King China for this example. Every province you give yourself here to your custom nation will become a core of that nation later. When you've finished, shift and right click on this badge here and head back to the menu by clicking on the button that appears. Now close out of the remaining four windows, note that this can crash your game, and click modify custom nation. Give yourself broken ideas and hit done. Now click the custom nation button again, hit modify, hit delete, and king plus any country that you took provinces from back in 1820 will appear on the map again. From here you can load in as an Iron Man and release and play as the custom nation you created. You'll have theoretically as many cores as provinces you care to click on in the previous step, and can world conquest pretty easily from this position. This next exploit is not really an exploit at all. But if you change around some files in the common folders for EU4 and save them at exactly the right time during the loading process, you can change anything from province development to requirements for achievements and basically unlock everything instantly. You might as well be playing a modded version of the game. If you want to learn more about that, you can go and watch the video linked in the description, or click on the card at the top of the screen here. And for a bonus exploit! Using the same exploit as the first one in this video, type in Synthetic Dawn and the country tag like MNG. Tag into the synthetics by typing in tag syn, and give yourself one or two provinces. Do the first exploit over your selected provinces, and boom, you're the synthetics in an Iron Man game. Every province you or your vassals occupy become a full core with three development thanks to some coded events. You'll also be able to have the cheapest possible troops, get blobbing, and go nuts. Check out these guides for more details. Those are the main big exploits for using custom nations and the start date mechanics as far as the current patch Emperor 1.30 and possibly even 1.31 as well. I'm sure I missed a few and glossed over others that are noteworthy, but these are the ones that I have the most familiarity with and can give my opinion on. I don't know how they haven't fixed all of these yet, but here they are, go nuts. Oof, that was a lot for under 10 minutes. I know I've been doing a lot of these exploits over and over and over again on my channel, so if it is getting tedious, don't worry, we will be doing a lot more legit content soon. In my next videos that we'll be releasing on this channel, we are doing a three-part Moogle's Guide to World Conquest. So if you haven't done a World Conquest before, stick around and hit that bell icon because you won't want to miss any of these videos that'll walk you through every step of the way, playing as one of the most busted nations in the game. No exploits required, and after that guide is finished up, I'll put together some highlights of the full campaign for you guys at home if you are interested. Thank you all for watching, and as always, I'll see you next time.